Yeah, the way we do these corners is take a square, put it on your cap, and in this situation, we have we have this stone. You put this stone in place so you kind of know your distance. Make sure you leave enough back here for a mortar joint, so you keep yourself out of three eighths of an inch, and then line up this edge with this edge. It just so happens it butts into this post or this uh, conduit just perfect. So I can take the 45 right off the corner of there because this edge lines up with it. So I'll cut that on a 45 and then I'll cut that one on a 45 and put them together. So we'll put our 40, our, put our square on there. And this side's a 45 degree angle. 
I'm coming right off of the edge of this. You can see it coming right off the edge of there because that's where the face of this stone down here lined up with it. So it landed just right right there. So I'm going to just scratch that in. I got my 45 there. I'll snip that off, put it on, then we'll cut that one. I'll just mark it right now. So this one's going to be on a 45 off of that corner. Lots of mud. I'm going to lay this. Lay this piece of cloth down to keep the mud off the seal stones. So we'll pre fit it. Make sure it's lining up right here in the corner. You want to be half a joint width back from right off of the corner so you're barely back so this piece coming in stays barely back and if you look at it and you're touching at the top after you're all lined up and everything here if you're touching at the top and it's gapping at the bottom you just trim it barely sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on because you're you're dealing with a compound angle these are slanted this way and on a 45 going that way so your quickie saw or cut off saw whatever you're using will cut it a little different than the angle you need sometimes so those need trim just barely barely about a blade width and then this piece of trim is hanging down a little lower so i got to cut some of this off right here so it'll go up and be flush right here where everybody's going to see it from on all the rest of the seals going that way. Okay, it fits on there. Ready to glue it on. Make sure these are the same distance, measuring off the edge of the siding to the front edge as a kind of an edge right here on the stones. So just keeping this measurement the same. And right here, it's barely back from the edge of the trim, so the joint will be back just barely from it so that the joint's in the middle instead of the stone itself. Right here there's a gap, but it's coming around level off this side. So when they put the siding on, this siding is a half inch higher than that siding. So we'll just have to fill it in with mortar, there's nothing we can do about it. So 
So I'm just gonna stone clear over to there, at the edge of the deck and stop. So it's kind of down by your feet, not real noticeable. Now that joint goes right in the center there. Lines up pretty good. When you're cutting these around electrical, it's kind of difficult, but I usually just try to keep that full of mortar so no moisture gets back in there and freezes. Kind of helps seal it off so it doesn't pop your caps off. As you're going down these, there's this edge right here. It's a pretty visible edge right along there. So we measure off the siding to that edge and just try to stick with it. So in this situation, we had about two and a half, but they do vary slightly. So we were going from two and three eighths to two and a half on our measurements from this little edge. It does kind of go back like a stone would. And so we try to keep it pretty close to that. And then when you sight it down, they stay pretty straight looking. That's the main thing is to make sure they're straight. So if the house bows, a lot of times I'll go down and check and sight down the side of the house. If the house has a big old wowie in it, then I'll pull a string on them. Try to keep them as straight as I can. But if the house looks good, then we'll just go off of it, measure off of the siding.